Uwe, uh, you are an uh, assistant uh, professor at the School of Innovation Sciences of this uh, university, the Eindhoven University of uh, Technology. Uh, you are also the co-founder of an open access uh, journal, the, Internet, uh, the International Journal of Internet uh, Science. As I said, it is an open access uh, journal and I suppose you had uh, special reasons to decide for open access. So, why was that, uh, Uwe? Uh, when Ulf Reibs, my colleague and the co-editor of this journal, and myself discussed about the journal, it was immediately clear to us that we would go for an open access journal. Um, the field of research that is represented in the journal, the International Journal of Internet Science, is about um, how can we use the Internet to enhance doing research. How can we use the Internet for data collection? How can we uh, enhance online experiments? How can we analyze transaction data that we can find on the Internet so that, that social science functions in a better way? And therefore, it is quite natural that we yeah. use the internet uh, for our own purposes, for the purpose of yeah. that journal, and therefore we decided to start with an open access journal, because that really uh, provides no barriers for the dissemination of the results of the articles, and therefore I think the research system, the social science researcher, profit in an optimal way uh, from the journal. Okay. Yeah, that's clear, yeah. So I understand uh, open access is really in line with the scope of uh, this uh, this journal. But uh, I'm also curious, the journal is now in its uh, fifth uh, volume, uh, but I'm curious, uh, did it mean a lot of work to establish uh, the journal? And of course, how is the journal doing now, the yeah. prestige? Yeah. Of course, it did mean a lot of work and it still does. Um, at the beginning, we were busy spreading the information about the name of the journal, the journal itself, that took a lot of time. Uh, in the meantime, I think uh, that is the journal is doing pretty well, but we still have to invest a lot of time because as a new journal you have to provide incentives, uh, good reasons to authors for giving us their manuscripts. Um, when an author submits a manuscript, we really try to give him very detailed feedback. We not just uh, give feedback or uh, uh, send the reviews of two or three uh, reviewers, we uh, always give comments uh, on our own. At least one editor does so per manuscript. That is, we try to synthesize the comments of the reviewers, try to make sense out of it, we try to emphasize what should be uh, enhanced first and what are yeah. other weak points, what are strong points, and that means it, it's, it takes a lot of time yeah, to do that. Sure. But the, I think the authors really profit from it, and as far as we get feedback from them, they are happy with that, and yeah. we hope that this is beneficial not only to the authors but to the journal as well in the long run. Yeah. And the prestige of uh, the journal, can you elaborate on that yeah. a little bit? At the moment, uh, we are in 2010, we publish, we're going to publish two issues per year. That means we have at least eight research articles and uh, a number of book reviews. But we still, of course, are in need of high quality yeah. submissions and that is really something that we that I would like to emphasize, so if you're an author and have a nice mm -hmm. manuscript, go to the website.